Good morning, fourth and fifth grade. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. What's been going on? Anything new? Anything you would like to share? Cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What do I have to share with you guys? Um, hmm. Uh, my husband made Valentine's Day dinner for me, and it was really nice. Um, so we got to spend a little bit of time together. Um, I was able to hang out with my mom on Sunday, which was nice. Um, she's been a little bit sad since, you know, like I'm not like living at home anymore and stuff. So it's been good just to catch up with her on the weekends and stuff. I normally just leave like one day for my mom. <laughs> but yeah, so nothing really is new. Um, Anything else you guys want to share before we jump into today's lesson? Nice. As always, I have my coffee. I'm ready to rock and roll with everybody. I'm ready to get started. So, welcome back for another music lesson. It is February 16th. Welcome to music. As always, I am Mrs. Smith. Happy to have you guys back. And this month, we are celebrating Black History Month. And each week, we have been talking about a unique aspect and spotlighting on a area of Black history that relates to music and the performing arts. So, got something in my eye. So, way back in week one of February, who remembers what we were talking about then? Mm -hmm. African-American dance. Exactly. What did we talk about last week? Does anybody remember? Absolutely. We were talking about African-American instruments and we learned about what specific kind. Do you remember? You guys did a tutorial video of a specific kind of African drum. Do you remember what that is? It was a djembe. Exactly. You guys played the funga rhythm, and you also shared that the djembe has what kinds of sounds? It has three main ones that like that are fairly easy for non-professionals to make. And obviously, we learned that there are multiple ones, but what were the three that can be easily made? Tone. Good job. What were the other two? Bass. Yep, that was the low one. And then what was the other one? Mm -hmm. The slap, which you play like with your fingertips. Exactly. So my friends, today we are talking, we are entering into um, the aspect of music. So we are going to be talking about two African Americans who probably help shape music how it is today and how we listen to hip hop and jazz and all of those music that I know I love. And I know from the survey, like way back in the beginning of the year, a lot of you told me that you did like hip hop and jazz and rap. So these are two musicians who probably, who definitely I would say helped shaped that aspect and those areas of music that you guys love so much. So here is what I have for you this week. You guys are going to be choosing which person that you would like to learn. And those two people are Aretha Franklin, and the second person is Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is a trumpeter. He's also a scat singer. And scat singing is basically whenever you use syllables to improvise melodies and patterns. And we're going to watch a little clip of Louis Armstrong performing just so you can hear what he sounds like.
So that was his trumpet playing. And I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of Aretha Franklin singing. I want you to raise your hand if you've heard this song before. This is probably one of her most favorite songs, but raise your hand if you have heard it before. What you want? So that's just a little clip of each of them performing. But how many of you have heard her song, Respect? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably one of her most favorite, not favorite, one of her most famous songs. But so that's a little clip of each of them performing. So we have Louis Armstrong and Aretha Franklin. It is your job this week to pick which musician you would like to learn a little bit more about. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. So... On your assignment, this is February 16th assignment. As always, you need to watch the lesson video for directions on how to complete the rest of it. Then, to pick which musician you would like to learn more about, you're going to watch either a voice named Aretha or Louis Armstrong, Broke Down Barriers for African American Artists. So you're going to click one of those two videos, and you're going to watch it the whole way through. After you are done watching one of those videos, you're going to complete the Franklin slash Armstrong exit ticket. And that is how you're going to show me that you watched one of them and that you had some takeaways from it. Now, the exit ticket, and since the third graders were also doing an exit ticket similar, I'm going to rename this Franklin slash there we go. So it has homeroom teacher. Which musician did you decide to learn about? Why do you think Arm Louis Armstrong slash Aretha Franklin's music is so influential? What was something that surprised you about Louis Armstrong or Aretha Franklin? So that is what you need to do for me this week. And it sort of puts your learning back on you and it lets you take control of who you would like to learn about. So friends, you can either pick Aretha Franklin or Louis Armstrong. Make sure that you, one, watch the lesson video, two, pick which video you would like to watch, three, submit your exit ticket, and four, click mark is done back in your Google Classroom. If you would like to do the assignment with me and with some of your other classmates, feel free to jump on to office hours at 11.45 today, February 16th. So, that is all that I have for you, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you soon. Bye, friends.